Hi you all, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be drawing something that looks like this, an appropriate application for iPad. So grab your Apple Pencil and your iPad and let's get started. Click on the two squares, which is your Layers tab, and Background Color. Choose a nice light blue color for your sky. Layer 1 is automatically selected, so let's go to our Ribbon Tool, Rectangle, Color Fill, Select a nice green color from either Disk or Classic. Tap to get out of that. Zoom out if it helps you. Using the Ribbon Tool and Rectangle with Color Fill turned on, we are going to make a green rectangle about a third to a half of the way up the page. Tap the two squares, click the plus symbol to add a layer. Click the Ribbon Tool, Rectangle, Color Fill, and select a nice red color for the house. Tap to get out of that, make a rectangle. Tap the arrow tool with snapping turned on. Just below that, or you can also drag your handle to make this shorter if you'd like. Tap the arrow to get out of that. Click on the wrench, drawing guide, edit drawing guide, symmetry. You can change your color if it helps you, and click Done. Click on the Layers panel. Layer 2 should now say Assisted, and it does on mine. If yours doesn't, tap on it now and click Drawing Assist. Click on the Brush Tool, Calligraphy, and Monoline. Bring your brush size up to a 5% and 100% opacity. I think I would like this to be steeper, so I'll make it taller. I'll probably just shift my entire cottage down just a little bit to make more room for the thatch roof. Arrow tool, I'm going to bring it up a little bit this direction and down a little bit this direction, always watching for that orange line to make sure I'm still in the perfect center. Tap the arrow to get out of that. Two squares, add a layer, select a nice light brown color for the base of your thatch roof. Brush tool is still on one line. Tap to get out of that. We are now on layer 3. Tap on layer 3 and select Drawing Assist. This will mirror everything from one side to the other. Tap to get out of that. You can zoom in if it helps you. And just inside this brick line, we'll make a brown line that goes further down. And you can edit shape if you like. Tap the brush tool to get out of that. We'll make the point and we'll round this out in just a moment. Doesn't matter too terribly much at the top because we'll be rounding it out. And I will bring this down just a little bit further. Tap the brush tool to get out of that. From about here, drag it out. And place one finger on the screen to make it perfectly straight. You can use your eraser tool to bring it in if it's too close to the edge. Brush tool. You can make it perfectly straight if you like. Edit shape if you like. I think I like that shape. Draw a straight line out. You can hold down to make it perfectly even. You can zoom in and use the eraser tool to bring this back again just a bit more and round these edges out. Art created edit shape. Brush tool to get out of that. You can clean up any extra lines. Uh, zoom in, we'll make this curve as well. If you don't like your edge, zoom in just a little bit and make another arc to work on that. Edit shape. Zoom out with two fingers really quick snap. Tap the two squares. Tap on layer two. Click the plus symbol to add a layer. Tap on this layer. Drawing assist. Now let's make the door. Click on the color circle and choose a color for your door. Tap to get out of that. Zoom in a little bit. And let's just make an arch arc down. Edit shape. Draw a straight line between it. Place one finger on the screen. Drag to fill color. If you don't like the color that you've selected, you can find another color, drag and try it. It's still a little bit light. Try, try again. I like that one a little bit better. Click and hold the eraser tool to make it the same brush.
putting it at 40%. And it should snap too. You can place a finger on the screen to make it perfect. And then just erase the excess. You can erase this tiny point, perhaps with a smaller brush. Okay, let's go ahead and make the stoop. We can do this by using our brush tool. Zoom in just a little bit. Make a straight line out. Tab and hold. It doesn't matter too terribly much where exactly this is. It will get covered up later. Tap and hold. Edit shape if you like. Brush tool. Connect your shape. Drag to fill. Go to the Layers panel, tap on Layer 3, uh, use your finger uh, on the screen to select the color, or you can use the eyedropper tool, but grab up that color that you used for the roof, and your brush tool, and now that we've got our door in place, we can put the little roof in for that. On top of this, as well as on top of the... Um, very top of the roof. Let's make that a little bit more rounded out. Drag to fill the color. And do the same up here. Click on the two squares, click on the red layer, or whatever color you selected for this layer, plus symbol to add layer. Tap on that layer, drawing assist. Go to the color circle and select new kind of reddish brown for your wood beams. Tap to get out of that. As you can see, we need to move the door layer back in space. Remember to always connect your shapes behind where you can't see before you drop to fill your color. Now let's click on the layers panel. It looks like this layer needs to be lifted and dragged beneath that layer and that looks a lot nicer. Tap to get out of that. Let's continue adding the wood beams for support. Place one finger on the screen. Try to make it even if you like. Edit shape if you need to. Brush tool to continue working. Brush tool. You can turn your canvas if it helps. Be sure to close your shapes. Drag to fill your color. Let's draw another beam. Drag and drop to fill color. Make an arm. Click on the two squares. Click on layer three if you like. Tap on arrow and freeform. Widen it up if you feel like it needs it. And then find that center again. Tap on the two squares, tap on layer two, and also bring that in using freeform and snapping. If you feel like it's gotten a little bit too wide, I feel like that looks way better. Brush tool to get out of that because I found my perfect center again. All right, let's add a layer above this layer three, plus symbol to add a layer, drawing assist. Collect up the color that we used for that roof. We'll make it just a little bit darker have to get out of that. For this part, we'll just add some arcs. All right, let's make a bit of a mushroom shape. Drag to fill color, drag to fill color. Click on the two squares, click on layer one, plus symbol to add a layer. Find a nice light color, light brownish color for the gravel area. Tap to get out of that. Click on the ribbon, freehand, color fill. Draw a line behind the house and then draw a little line that goes out a little bit from the house. Tap the circle to complete the shape. You can use the arrow tool if you'd like to modify this shape. You can use your eraser if you need to clean up any straight edges. Click on the two squares, click on this red layer, plus symbol to add a layer. Click on the color circle, find a nice very dark blue. Brush tool, monoline, layer 8, assisted. 
and let's draw the space where the windows will be. Now we'll do a lattice over this later, so don't worry too much about this part. Up here with the brush tool, just draw uh, one big triangle, complete that shape. And then I think we'll do a small triangle up here. All right, let's create one more space for windows. Let's drag them all the way up to the top. And make these a little bit wabi-sabi. Doesn't need to be perfect. Kind of a fun and funky shape. You can look at the other side to see where the edges meet. Click on the two squares. Click on the grass layer. Click the plus symbol. Let's add some nice big foliage in the background. Click the color circle. Choose a nice dark green. Now draw a nice big fluffy tree bush in the background. Drag your color circle in. Now select a lighter color. And on the opposite side, make another sort of bushy tree. Drag to fill. Click the layers panel, plus symbol to add a layer. Let's go back to that color. So hold down your color circle. And now we're going to do a bit more of a pine tree. Bit of a triangular point. Doesn't matter too much what happens back here or down here but we will start to get back into it up here. We can clean up this edge a bit. If you don't like something, just cut it out, take it off the canvas and try, try again. Drag to fill that color. Click the layers panel, plus symbol to add a layer. Let's choose kind of a yellowy green. Tap to get out of that. And here we'll just make a nice big tall shrub right in front of this one. Drag to fill your color. And here we'll do the same thing. Tap on the two squares. Let's go all the way to the front. Tap on the top layer. Click the plus symbol to add a layer. All right, on this layer, let's add some foliage in front of the house here. Grab up this lighter color that you used before and just make a nice little bush, happy little bush right in front there. Drag to fill. Same thing on the other side, maybe a little bigger. Nice big happy bush, covers the window a little bit. Drag to fill the color. Tap on the two squares, click the plus symbol to add a layer. Hold to get that light green from these back shrubs. Tap to get out of that. And maybe this time it's going to be more of like a spiky little plant. Drag to fill your color. Watch out for these points. You can move this one while it's still the only one if you like. Rotate it if you like. Tap on the brush tool to get out of that.